What's up guys? You what guys asked for it and today's video we are going to do the Origins MP40 only challenge. So in this challenge I'm allowed to use my Mauser and my knife as well for the early rounds just so I can get the MP40 and set up. So in the first room all I'm simply going to do is turn on the generator, get quick revive and that's about it really. There's not really much to this bit, um, we just need to get ourselves as many points as possible so we can get the MP40 as quickly as possible. And I've got to do this by turning on the generator, getting quick revive and get as many points as possible so we can get the MP40 quickly. So weirdly enough, I was actually able to get the um, MP40 on round two. So here's a gameplay of me playing round eight. So surprisingly enough, I managed to get all the generators on and get quick revive and all that good stuff. Well, I haven't got Juggernaut yet by round eight, but the Panzer is uh, clearly behind me in this gameplay and it wasn't looking too good. And spoiler alert, um, things do go a bit south. So what I decide to do is I pack a push the MP40 as you can see in this gameplay here thinking oh it'd be no problem but then I'd kind of uh, trap myself because there was loads of zombies but I didn't want to take on the panzer with just the regular MP40 no jug then I put myself in here realizing I have time to put the gramophone on and yeah this wasn't going to plan I did a decent amount of damage to the panzer in this gameplay and that was all right but then yeah as you can see here, got completely surrounded and I had my first down and yeah, I wasn't best impressed with this at all. It was a bit of a nightmare if I'm completely honest with you. When I got to about round 9, however, I was able to recover from this. So as you can see in the gameplay, I bought Quit Revive already. I'm just buying my um, second dose of Juggernog and I've got my pack punched MP40 and things looking a lot better now. I'm in a stronger position. And yeah, this is the case of just flying through the early rounds as much as possible. Because when you have the pack a punch MP40 in the early rounds, especially, um, it's a very good weapon to be fair, especially for headshots. So it's definitely worth using in this case. It is a very, very useful weapon. So when I got to about round 12 in this game, I decided to buy um, Speed Caller as well. Not sure whether this is the right decision though, because the MP40's reload is quick enough already. And um, now thinking about it, this probably wasn't the best move at the time, but I felt I needed to. But I also got the um, the bit the thing in my bobby, the chest reward for spending 30,000 points by round 12, which is really useful. And this is the bit where I needed to grab the double tap perk. At first, when I was selecting my reward, I made a bit of a mistake and ended up getting the Scar H. But because I had a bunch of zombies behind me, I didn't want to redo it at that time. So what I had to do is let the Scar H go down. And then I turned around, realising there was a bunch of zombies hanging around. Not too many, but I didn't want to kill them or anything like that. So I could um, buy the perk safely. So what I did is I lured him out of the room. Probably did, probably, um, did this a bit too... Um, like probably took me a bit too long to do this should i say but i don't think it's worth the risk getting yourself killed or less but maybe i could have killed a couple of the zombies off off now looking like looking at this game playing high size and talking to you guys but i think it's just better safe than sorry so i lure them all the way all the way down here all the way towards generator through no idea why i do this now thinking about it. i just wanted to make sure i get this double tap without dying because i think that first death was like a big wake up cause if to say like what am I doing kind of thing like the first death was a rough one like I wasn't happy I wanted to die I didn't want to, I wanted to die ideally maybe the first time around 15 or above when I got at round 8 death I was fuming I know round 8's the big round but I wasn't happy about dying anyway eventually I get back to the double tap machine or the chest I should say and then I acquire my double tap because double tap is like really good in Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3. It does double damage and it is essential for the MP40 to work. It's like you need it. It's no, no, no um, negotiation needed for that one. So um, I'm on round 17 here, as you can see in the gameplay now. And to be quite honest with you, I spent a good amount of time in this map trying to dig. Um, as you can see here, I'm digging all the all the um, things to try and get the golden shovel and the golden helmet. Um, I mainly wanted to protect myself from the pan, not the pans, of the um, the giant robots. So I didn't have any worry about them stamping on me. So because if you get the golden helmet, you are invincible from that damage. But um, you, and also you can use the um, thingy of Bobby. Um, Oh, what's it called? Zombie Blood, that's it. Zombie Blood um, to get the free perk slots. Uh, unfortunately, though, I never get around to doing that. Um, that's a bit of a spoiler, but something bad's coming. 
So round 23 comes along and this is where the bad thing happens. So I'm just running away from a train of zombies. But then for some reason my mind just sort of switched off. I was very, very like out of it. I think I, to be fair I was pretty tired of recording this. I probably should have done it a different day. But there's not much you can do at the end of the day. So I was shooting the zombies, trying to get these chests filled. I don't even know why because I can't even use them in the challenge. But I think I was just bored at the time. But then I lost a focus, didn't pay attention and then got killed. Yeah, it wasn't going well, and as you can see, I lost all my perks, and you've got to think about it. I've got to get double tap out of the Wonder Fizz again, uh, because you can't get it. There's no perk machine on the map, so there's a lot of problems, <laughs> to say the least. I mean, I could have died here um, straight afterwards, but luckily I was put into a position where I could easily run away, but I had to be very, very careful because I'd had an MP40 that was pack a punch, but without double tap, it's a lot weaker. No juggernaut, um, so yeah, I was in a very vulnerable position and I needed to get out of it fast. Yeah, and then round 24 rolls along and things are just looking even worse. I take myself to the worst possible part of the map. I'm a really stupid player for doing this. Come here and, yeah, get myself completely surrounded. There was no way in hell I was getting out of this. Um, so, yeah, that's all my free quick revives gone. So, this challenge has been a pretty disastrous thing. I did get the golden um, shovel and the golden helmet on a more positive note, but... Dying like this is not good. I mean, I'm surprised I even got out of this room. Like, I was very, very lucky to, very lucky to escape. It's honest to God, like, I'm a shit. I was, I'm actually ashamed watching this gameplay now as I'm talking to you. I'm thinking I could have done so much better in this challenge. But to be fair, the MP, it, to be fair, from what I've seen over, from the other YouTubers, it tends to be between 25 and 30 that people mostly get to on this challenge. So I'm pretty happy i guess in that regard but um still it's round 24 and i've all got um any more crit advice so i'm on my final life here and it's not really looking too great so i was able to luckily actually get to um, round 25 and i actually got double tap back and i even got electric cherry and electric cherry came in clutch in this gameplay i'm telling you right now without it i genuinely would have been dead like i did not like look at that if that didn't happen, then I think I would have genuinely died. So I was very, very, um, I'm, I'm maybe next I want to do, you see what I mean? I'll look at the clutch. Oh my God, look at this is ridiculous. Like, look, I'm getting out of very, very tricky situations. Like, it's very clutch. Like, normally that would, if I didn't have electric chain, that would have been my death more inside 100%. But yeah, to be fair, uh, when I got to round 25, I wasn't too bad. I was being a bit more cautious of what I was doing. I kind of went to generator two straight away because um, there's a strategy there we can train around. So, you know, I'll bring myself here, refill my ammo and make my life a lot easier. However, unfortunately, this does not last. This does not last at all because round 26 comes along and it pans around and... I trained the zombies really, really poorly in this. Um, as you can see in the gameplay, the zombies are everywhere and I had no chance of escape. The pans was behind. It was a disaster. My training skills were off the mark completely. But you know what? Considering I've not played Origins for years, I'm very impressed with round 26, so I'll take it. Um, but yeah, let me guys know Let me know what you guys think and um, I'll be happy to take any other challenges in the comments below. Um, but yeah, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.